We bring you the latest updates from the Pinay Newsroom. The low turnout of enrollees in Colegio de San Lorenzo is the main reason why the school decided to shut down its operations. In a meeting with officials of the Department of Education, RJ Taganas of the Student Affairs Office explains the CDSL has only 600 enrollees for this academic school year, which is way below the 2,400 enrollees during the pre-pandemic. Taganas added that measures are in place for the smooth and seamless processes for the affected students with the help of the DepEd and CR officials who committed to guide the school until its last day of operations on September 20. The school earlier assured it will provide support for the displaced students through refunds and timely release of documents for the transfer of their students. Several schools have so far expressed their intent to absorb the displaced students, including College of St. Catherine and Villagers and Montessori College in Quezon City. The Quezon City government also stepped up to assist the affected students. Customs personnel have seized a shipment of smuggled carrots declared as chocolates at the Manila North Harbor Port. The Bureau of Customs reported that the smuggled carrots were discovered in an operation on August 16. Lawyer Jesus Balmores, officer in charge of the North Harbor Port, recommended the examination of the shipment upon receiving word of the arrival of the contraband from the Bureau of Plant Industry. The Manila International Container Port said an inventory by the BPI is ongoing to determine the total value of the shipment which came from China. District Collector Romeo Alan Rosales said the MICP would further enhance measures to improve border protection against the entry of smuggled agricultural products. Digital fraud in the country has decreased in the second quarter of the year. A study from Global Information and Insights firm TransUnion showed that digital fraud originating from the Philippines has decreased by 11% in April to June 2022 compared to the same period last year. Likewise, its survey from May 26 to June 7 revealed that 45% of the respondents were being targeted by online fraud schemes but did not become a victim in the past three months. TransUnion Philippines President and Chief Executive Officer Pia Arellano said fraudsters will continue to capitalize on any opportunities to exploit both consumers and businesses, especially since more Filipinos preferred transacting online. Arellano has warned organizations to be proactive in averting threats and risks caused by present and emerging fraudulent activities. The Department of Tourism has opened a training program for vendors and service providers in Virgin Island in Panglao, Bohol. This was in response to the viral post about the alleged overpricing of food on the island. The training aims to foster a service excellence culture in the island. A total of 34 participants consisting of food stall owners and their staff, as well as representatives of the Protected Area Management Board of the Panglao Island Protected Seascape attended the training course. Attendees learned to understand guests' needs and provide excellent service based on Filipino values. Earlier, Tourism Secretary Cristina Frasco announced plans to facilitate an interagency technical working group to strengthen the capacity of micro-entrepreneurs to provide quality tourism services. And that's the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. I'm Marita Muahe. Thank you for watching and have a good day.